I sometimes wonder whether it's my lifelong love of history that resulted in my son choosing to read history at university, or whether it was my interest in environmental issues when I was a student at university in the 1990s that led to my daughter becoming a vegan. Of course, both of them would deny such a connection. Yet I do puzzle over whether there has been some sort of priming effect slowly permeating the setting at home over the past decade. Our home and work environments certainly shape our behaviour, but also the words we read and the sentences we listen to have an enormous bearing on our approach to life. This is particularly heightened at a time when millions of us are using technology to work and study from home, as well as consume news feeds, social media and entertainment. Nobel Prize winner Daniel Kahneman in his book, Thinking Fast and Slow, refers to a classic experiment conducted by psychologist John Barr and his colleagues. They are students aged 18 to 22 at New York University to construct four word sentences from a set of five words. For example, finds, he, it, yellow, instantly. One group of students received a scrambled set of words comprising of words related with the elderly. Being America, these words were Florida, forgetful, bald, gray, or wrinkle. In the US, Florida is a well-known location for retirees. After the students finished the task of building out the sentences, they were asked to undertake another experiment in an office down the hall. Unknown to the students, the actual experiment was the short walk. Barr and his researchers measured the time it took the young participants to get from one end of the corridor to the other. What they found was that the young people who had formulated a sentence from words with an elderly theme walked down the hallway much slower than the others. In other words, the students were being primed in two ways. First, the set of words they were told to scramble, primed thoughts of old age, even though the actual word old was never used. And more profoundly, these thoughts primed their behavior walking slowly, which is an action related with old age. After the experiment, the students were asked whether they had noticed a common theme with the words. They hadn't. It wasn't as Kahneman puts it, and I quote, their conscious awareness, but their actions had changed never nevertheless. The first few weeks of the global lockdown in 2020 led to a spike in the levels of productivity in some professional services firms as employees went all hands to the pump to keep the show on the road. However, operating in a crisis mode and maintaining productivity levels isn't sustainable as the awareness of being a lone worker starts to kick in. Many workers resorted to bouncing around on their devices to keep themselves busy or at least feel like they're busy. Yet a lot of what they were doing was checking the news to see how apocalyptic things were. In other words, they were priming themselves with and for bad news. As I heard someone say to a group I was in, and I quote, we don't know when this will end or if it is the end. However, he was quick to follow up and add that whatever the future holds, we should remain positive and do the best we can in our respective situation. I tend to check the news every couple of days because there's really nothing I can do about it. It's only going to make me feel anxious and depressed. We know how bad things can be, so as Tim Robbins, the character in the film adaptation of The Shawshank Redemption said, get busy living or get busy dying.